Hey everyone, Dr. Mary here. For today's adventure, we're going to Illinois, specifically Alton, Illinois. In a small park in Alton, on the campus of the Dental School of Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville, there's an inviting statue of a very tall man. The statue states, Robert Pershing Wadlow, February 22, 1918 to July 15, 1940. Who was this man whose statue looks so friendly? There's an engraved slab behind the statue. We'll let that monument begin the story. Robert Pershing Wadlow. Alton's Gentleman Giant was born February 22, 1918. He lived most of his life in Alton, where he attended Alton High School and Shirtliff College, now the campus of SIUE Dental School. At age five, Robert was five feet six inches tall and wore clothes that would fit a 17-year-old. And by age 10, Robert was six feet five inches tall and weighed over 200 pounds. Robert was the largest Boy Scout in the world. At age 13, he was seven feet four inches. Robert was the tallest man who ever lived. Upon his death on July 15, 1940, he was eight feet 11.1 inches tall and weighed 490 pounds. Robert Wadlow is a significant part of the history of Alton. He was a well-traveled ambassador for our city. Active in community and religious organizations, he was known for his positive attitude and gentle manner. This statue was erected by Alton Godfrey Rotary, Alton Area Optimist, Junior League of Greater Alton, Olin Foundation, Alton Wood River Board of Realtors, Upper Alton Business Association, and those who cherish Robert's memory. October 1985. Robert Pershing Wadlow was the first of what would be five children for Harold and Addie Mae Wadlow. He seemed a normal baby at birth, at eight pounds, five ounces, and 20 inches long. However, by the time he was one year old, he was three feet, six inches, and 45 pounds, equivalent to an average five-year-old. By the time Robert was going to kindergarten at five years old, he was five feet, six and one-half inches tall, wearing clothes that would fit a teenager. At nine, six feet, two and one-half inches tall and 180 pounds, he was strong and could carry his father, sitting in a living room chair, up the stairs to the second floor. At 13, Robert became the world's tallest Boy Scout. At this point, he had grown an average of four inches each year from the time he was born. This Boy Scout was seven feet, four inches tall, weighed 270 pounds, and wore size 19 shoes. And he kept growing. Robert, a well-mannered, affable young man by all accounts, graduated from Alton High School in 1936, and in that year, enrolled in Shirtliff College, intending to become an attorney. He then took a couple of career detours, first touring with Ringling Brothers Circus in the center ring in 1936, and then for International Shoe Company in 1938. In both cases, in his view, he was working in advertising. He was notably very strong, but wore leg braces as he didn't have much feeling in his legs. His ambassadorship for International Shoe Company was fortuitous, as he wore size 37 AA shoes, which cost $1,500 per pair in today's money. Robert's size presented other challenges as well. For example, he enjoyed photography until his hands were too large to manipulate a camera. He didn't fit in conventional furniture either. Near the statue, there's a sculpture of a chair that was made especially for him. There's an accompanying monument here as well. It says, Replica of Robert Wadlow's Chair. In November 1939, Robert Wadlow visited Virginia on an advertising campaign. Mr. C. L. Smith, president of Galax Furniture Company, saw Robert and was so taken with the apparent discomfort he experienced when sitting in a chair of normal size that he decided to build a chair to accommodate Robert's unusual frame. The exposed parts of the original chair were made of solid black walnut with the exception of the back posts, which were made of southern red gum. Eleven yards of wine-colored brocatel were used for the covering. This chair was used by Robert in his home until his death. At that time, the chair was given to Franklin Masonic Lodge in Upper Alton, where it remains on display. Robert kept growing. 
By June 1940, he measured 8 feet 11.1 inches and weighed on the order of 490 pounds. On July 4th, he was in Michigan, again making a professional appearance, when a new but faulty leg brace caused a sore on his ankle. The sore became infected, the treatments of the day were not successful, Robert's condition worsened, and he passed in his sleep on July 15th. But what made Robert Wadlow so tall? Sources differ. Some say likely he had tumors of the pituitary gland. Some say his hypothalamus was probably giving his pituitary gland improper signals. Most of the sources I've seen say either hypertrophy or hyperplasia of the pituitary gland. There is a difference. Hypertrophy means the same number but larger cells, while hyperplasia means the cells are normal size, but there are more of them. But it seems, for whatever reason, Robert's pituitary gland was producing more growth hormone, resulting in greater than normal growth. Perhaps surgery could have solved Robert's condition, as surgery often does today. Robert was under regular care at Barnes Hospital in St. Louis, but Robert's parents would not allow him to be treated either with surgery or radiation, allowing only supportive care. And so Robert Pershing Wadlow will likely remain in the Book of World Records for some time to come. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe and travel well.